with the Sorcerer Supreme of the MCU himself, yeah. Kevin Feige. Welcome, Hello, welcome. Hello, everybody. How are you? We are great. You know, we were talking about the fact that well, Doctor Strange is a master of the mystic arts. Sam Raimi is a master of the cinematic arts. So tell me about working it. with him. Well, my whole career started with, with Sam. The first X-Men movie, uh, and then I was hired with Marvel, and then went right into the first Spidey with Sam. So on those first three movies, I just stood there and watched and was lucky to be there. You know, you're, you've been teasing the multiverse for so long, even back to the first Marvel Studios Doctor Strange, but how did you know that Doctor Strange would be the character to help take us through the multiverse? Yeah, I mean, it, you know, there's always a method to the madness, even in the multiverse, and, <laughs> and, and for the Marvel.com fans who know that Loki and Sylvie did something at the end of that series yeah. that sort of allowed all of this to, to be possible. He Who Remains is gone, and that allowed a spell to go wrong in Spider-Man No Way Home, which leads to the entire multiverse going quite mad in, in this. I feel like you just connected something for me that I don't know. Was it's that, there. did we just get a scoop? It's I feel like there. we just got no, a no, scoop, it's, it's all connected. It's all there. Okay, it's all there. right. It's there, it's there. <laughs> it's all there, so, so it's fun, right? This is, this is absolutely a sequel to the first Doctor Strange, but also to Infinity War and Endgame, also to WandaVision, yeah. um, and it that really just, let us have an embarrassment of riches of the, like such an amazing cast and amazing stories. And then Sam Raimi tying it all together. Right, so what made this particular film the one where you said, this is where we get to go scary and spooky and explore horror? Because Marvel does such a great job of pairing genres different, with different kinds of stories. It, you know, it came up early early on and, and our executive producer, Scott Derrickson, had a great thought of, of that there hadn't been sort of those PG-13 scares yeah. for a long time. And if you think back to the to the Indiana Jones movie, and there's another one coming from Disney soon, that, that there were scary moments in those. And you hadn't seen that much anymore. And Strange felt like the character to do that with. And now with Sam behind the camera, it's I'm, I'm very excited for people to finally see what that means and, and who is scaring who. Yeah. Well, you know, something that you were talking about earlier is, you know, you've got the Disney Plus shows, you've got the movies. How do you all keep it all? I mean, it's one connected story. How do you keep it all together? Uh, Marvel Studios has the best team of creatives uh, in the business. Many of us have been together for over 15 years, and that's a rarity in this business, in this industry, uh, because we love it, because we love working very, very hard to get to this moment where everybody's waiting and anticipating finally being able to see it. And you do have an incredible group of fans here today. I mean, when you first step, stepped up here, you looked around, you know, like, wow, this is like a full-on fan premiere. What's it like for you seeing all of these fans here decked out in amazing cosplay? I, I think, I mean, this is the first uh, premiere back in the Dolby Theater with a full shutdown Hollywood Boulevard, I think that we've had since Captain Marvel. Um, Endgame was in another location, but it's, it's great. And it feels like, I mean, we all had those moments over the past two years of will things get back to normal? Will we be able to do this again? We'll be able to stand up here with you two talking to Marvel.com live? And the answer is yes. Yeah. And speaking of things getting back to normal, this movie has to be seen in the theaters, right? Because the visual effects are amazing. Can you, without giving anything away, is there a particular sequence, maybe something we've seen in the trailer already that you were really excited to bring to screen? Uh, I, I don't, any, there's been too much in the trailers. I don't want to talk about anything else, but I will say <laughs> Sam has made this movie to be experienced on as big a screen as possible. And it's even the first one in a long time that 3D was really taken into account too, because the first Doctor Strange film, I think was our best film ever in 3D. And this one now uh, will, be right alongside that. I have to try to ask, is there anything that you can tease to us of like, how will things be different now that the multiverse is cracked wide open? Yeah, I, we've always talked about the multiverse in the comics, in the film so far, is just another amazing storytelling tool to see characters and different versions of characters to really play into emotions, which is what Marvel is all about, is characters. And the multiverse is going to allow us to keep playing with that. Well, thank you so much for sharing the inside with the fans and have an amazing time tonight. Thank you. Thank you.